Our Angie. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sharon Whiteman and I partner with Dinah Hunter and Gary Knapp and each and every one of you. Um, we're really excited to have Andrew here today. And, you know, to be honest, um, I'm part-time in my Manatech business now for um, personal situation reasons. And sometimes I have a hard time keeping up and on the changes. And I'm so grateful to learn from Sinead all some of the things that we may not know that business development can help us with. And so that's what today is all about. But I'll just give you a little bit about Andrew's background. He's previously the much-loved customer service team le leader from 2015 to 2018. Andrew returned in 2023 as the business development manager. He's your go-to person for any of your technical related issues or concerns and a genius at teaching and training is deeply committed, committed to helping each and every one of us build and grow a successful business with Manatech. In this 30 plus minute training, we will be covering ma the many ways that you may not know how Andrew can help you build and grow your business, including compensation plan queries, incentive uh, achievement strategies, planning, and tracker audits. If you ever, you know, some of these trackers that we've had lately are really supportive for growing a business and for, you know, getting us to amazing places, but they're also complex. So if you, you mix it up a little bit, if you want to just to double check that he can audit that for you. We're going to be talking about back office orientation, friendly debriefs when feeling stuck, and maybe even a bit of tough love when we need it. <laughs> Sometimes probably possibly when we don't know we need it. So, um, Andrew, thank you for being here today and for all that you do for us. Uh, thank you, Sharon, um, and thank you for the opportunity to join you guys today. Um, yeah, Saturday morning calls is such a, uh, I guess, an institution um, that it's it's kind of it's my privilege to be here today. Thank you. Oh, um, thank you. But yeah, anyway, um, you basically said everything I can do, so I can go. No, 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 no. no. I want to know. I want to know kidding. more. We all want to know more. Um, I think the the first thing I wanted to touch base on um, this morning was uh, I am no longer customer service. <laughs> that's um, that's a, a big one that I want to try and get across to you guys. We have, um, as you would have heard with uh, Sinead's call a couple of weeks ago, um, we have appointed Bungie also as our customer service supervisor. So he is now in charge of customer service. Um, so he oversees the guys in the Philippines. Um, and I think you can, we can all safely say that they're doing such an amazing job at the moment, which is fantastic. Um, there's hardly anything that I need to step in for. Um, so any emails, because I still do get the odd email every now and then about custom service in my order. Where is it? Um, I don't look at it anymore. I, I put my hand up. I'm sorry. Um, I forward them on to Bungie straight away. Uh, anything to do with custom service, I direct straight to him. And then if he has an issue, he will ask me and I will investigate or help him find out where to look for um, certain things. Um, so if there's any concerns, overall, I do look after customer service because I'm um, Bungie's supervisor. However, I don't do the, the on the ground stuff um, yeah, that I used to do. So that's the only thing I, I really wanted to, to hone in on this morning. Um, in saying that, of course, I'm always here to help. I, I want want you guys to succeed because if you succeed, then I succeed um, and I continue to have a job. So it's great. Uh, um, so, yeah. So uh, anything that you're concerned about, if you have in, yeah, in saying all of this, if you have already spoken to customer service and there is still an issue that you think um, can be resolved in a different way, by all means, CC me on an email that you send to Bungie. Um, but ultimately, you'll hear back from Bungie. Um, even uh, if we've had a chat about things, it'll always come back from him um, because I want him to take ownership of it. Uh, and I don't know if, if any of you have seen, we've definitely seen um, within the office um, that he has, yeah, he has blossomed with having this new role. Um, I think he, he may have been getting a little, uh, little, um, what's the word? Lazy. Uh, not not lazy, but he was uh, he wasn't he wasn't being pushed. He he was getting a bit bored. I think is the proper word to say. Um, so yeah, giving him this this step up, uh, he's really yeah hit the ground running. Um, uh, uh, once a week now, he comes into my office and says, uh, "I'm never going to say I was bored again." Well, no, you're not, <laughs> <laughs> because there is a lot to do. 
Um, so no, but he's he's been doing great. So any concerns, please, um, from now, if you can, uh, forward those those concerns through to him. Um, and like I said, if he can't work it out, he'll come to me anyway, and and I'll I'll help or point him in the right direction. Um, but ultimately, he will be taking responsibility for those things. Okay. That's um, such good. Uh, can I say something? I do that's yes, such good leadership. Through. That's such leadership, right? And that's something that we can all model in working with our teams, right? Some people, everybody have difference in what makes them blossom. Yes. And sometimes having that little extra challenge will be the key. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. It won't be the same for everyone, but that good on you. Well done. Yeah. Uh, and and we try and, uh, so I, I, most of you would have um, met Poppy or seen her at some stage. You'll see her uh, in all her glory next Tuesday for our business booster when she goes through the reels. Um, but Anyone who came to, uh, what were they, the expos, um, I believe in, we did Melbourne, then Adelaide, um, sorry, in that order, we had someone pull out at the last minute for Melbourne, she had to jump in, or we basically, Volon, what is it, Volon told her that she was uh, then going to do the Luminovation presentation, um, she, yeah, she was so nervous, um, but then a week later, we get her to do it again, and just, you know, one one week after, she's already kind of stepped into owning it. Um, yeah, you've got to sometimes give people a push uh, and see if they sink or swim. But um, <laughs> but yeah, she she's come such a long way. Um, for, even for her to put her hand up um, and say that next Tuesday she's going to do the business booster, I uh, uh, is fantastic. So um, please support her by by joining us next Tuesday night for for how to do a reel on Instagram. Um, because I need to learn how to do that stuff as well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so yes, to your point, sometimes it's um, it's good to push people in the deep end and see if they can sink or swim, because uh, you'll find that a lot of people can swim, which is great. And those that can't, you just give them a bit of a hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And there's a question already for you. What's the plan for the Business Booster for the rest of the year? Do you know? So after next Tuesday, we, we're only going to have one more, which um, I'm very excited about again. Uh, it will be Karen's final um, presentation on uh, the bonuses, the compensation plan bonuses. And um, basically that one will be, we're going to touch on all of the bonuses that, it, that is available to you guys in the comp compensation plan. But we're also going to show you where you can view those through success tracker. Um, so you can actually keep on top of how you're progressing throughout the month for those. Um, so it'll be a bit more about the the behind the scenes success tracker running reports. Um, if you don't have a subscription, you should have. Um, it's a great tool. Um, yeah, so that will be on the 10th of December. So mark your calendars for the 10th of uh, December. That will be our final one for this year. Awesome. They're gold, Karen's trainings, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really filled a gap for um, the, the field, which is fantastic. So um Compensation plan queries. What's your most common questions that you get, Andrew? Um, the to tell you the truth, I don't get too many, and that's the re the the reason why we we've kind of jumped on the court today is to let you guys know that I'm here to help you guys in any way I can. Um, the way we like to to talk about business um, development is that I'm I'm your voice for the for the head office. So when I'm in the office. I'm the voice of the people. And when I'm out in the field, I'm the voice of the head office, basically. Um, so I'm here to help. Uh, the main questions I get are the ones that actually go to customer service first and then they forward it on to me. And that's, why didn't I get paid this amount this month? Um, so then I investigate through their, their business why they actually didn't receive a, a certain amount or why they didn't get a certain bonus um, and I can let them know the reasons why. Um, so, yeah, I don't get that many. I would like to get a lot more because <laughs> that's what I'm here for. Um, yeah, so can't can't answer that question. Sorry, Sarah. No, that's a, that was a great answer um, because it, it, well, I mean, I find it complex um, learning the new comp plan uh, for multiple reasons. And, and we all have different capacity and strengths, don't we? So, yes. If if we need to ask those questions again and again, I know that you're very, very graceful. <laughs> I, I'm I'm here. I'm here. Um, and I will. I I was very fortunate. Um, uh, quite a few years ago, uh, I did a, a TAFE kind of training course on um on uh, being a trainer, 
pretty much. Uh, so through that, I was able to, to find out that there are, um, I think, three or four different ways that people learn. Um, so if I've taught one way and you're still unsure, I'll try and work out which other way I can then say it again, um, just in a different way or give you diagrams or however it is to try and get um, the point across. Uh, because, I, yeah, I, I understand that people yeah, learn completely differently to other people. So I'm a very hands-on person. I, I like to draw things and have a visual um, image of it. Uh, but not everyone's like that. that. Some people prefer just to read a textbook and then they pick it all up. I, can, I definitely cannot do that. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm here. I'm here for you guys um, to ask any questions in regards to compensation plan. Even if, look, a, in saying that as well, I will never, the, all I can do is give you ideas maybe a different idea to how to what you were thinking prior um and the reason i'll give you the reasons why I, th I think you know to do it a certain way but please note that if your upline or um whoever's doing your training uh in-house i guess um or within your teams uh i will never be going against them okay i only ever want to work with you guys um to grow your teams uh so if there's a certain way you want me to explain something to someone please just let me know beforehand or you know if or let me know now um, <laughs> um you see margaret's comment there yeah even i can understand it once andrew was finished with me <laughs> <laughs> that's a yes, good that's a good that's, compliment andrew yes it definitely is and thank you margaret um and that's the thing so um it was just the the tracker that you touched on before the trackers for the incentives I've tried to make them um, as simple as can be uh, in the fa in the way that they operate, as in, you know, you put a number here and then it will do the calculations for you so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but I, can, I also understand that people who don't use Excel, um, it, they can be quite daunting. So uh, I'm here, I'm here to go through those. I went through through it with Margaret one day. So, <laughs> and now and now we have a, a you know, a weekly or a, fortnightly um she'll send me her tracker so i can just make sure it's on the right track that she's put people in the right places oh, awesome. um and that the total is correct for where she's at at the moment just so she she's got an ongoing um view of of how she's progressing towards the manifest incentive so i can also do that for everyone um i i'm not gonna do the tracker for you <laughs> i'll just say that but if you want to send me your tracker and what you've got so far I will see where you're at, um, like through our system, uh, and I'll let you know if that's incorrect or not, um, and the reason, you know, what you've missed, and, and where where you've put someone incorrectly or something like that. So, um, I, I definitely can can help on an ongoing uh, capacity for that as well. Okay. Well, as someone who an expert, a complex Excel spreadsheet can send me crying into the corner. That's really good news. <laughs> Yes, and no, yeah, look, I and like I said, I know, yeah, Excel <laughs> isn't for everyone. <laughs> um, yes. They're very daunting if you don't use them on an ongoing basis. So, um, yeah, I, I like I've tried to make it as, as easy as possible. In the future, I actually said this to Sinead the other day, hopefully next year, um, because I'm actually also doing a, a um, I've got the intermediate um, uh, Excel training course coming up uh, in December. Um, so hopefully I'll learn a bit more about it as well so I can make it work a lot easier. Um, but I, I'm hoping for next year, whenever we do an incentive, that I can have a, I guess, a virtual um, Excel spreadsheet that you guys can update. But I've also got access to on my end. So I can just uh -huh. jump in every so often and, and and see how it's progressing and see if you're actually doing it correctly. Um, but yeah, that's something in the future. I don't even know if I can do that. I'm hoping I can. Um, well, there's things like OneDrive, which that's not my friend either, but um, they're supposedly secure and yes. and yes. then just two people can have access to it. And it's, um, I mean, if you need a hand, that's, <laughs> you couldn't yeah. have anything better, really. Yeah. And, well, and that's, that's how Margaret actually, and Margaret and I um, operate at the moment. She's got an, uh, an active Excel spreadsheet that I can jump into and, and, and fix up if need be. Well, that's awesome. You know, like that's like the training wheels on the bike, isn't it? Yes. You know, and you probably you'll get fired after a while. And then some people, it's just never going to be their forte and they've still got a backup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and there's that's always new people as well, hopefully. 
<laughs> um, yeah. You know, we're always bringing in new people. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope you are. Um, so yeah, so and there's gonna yes, yeah, so there's always gonna be people that I can I can help out with for that that thing um, or in that way. Uh, but yes, after a, little, a couple of a couple of goes, you'll 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 get it. I've yes. got faith in everyone. <laughs> That's a good attitude. And there's a question here in regards to commissions. If if you're thinking something hasn't been paid and yes. they've been followed it up and it doesn't look like it's corrected in the next month, is there a form to fill in or advice? What um, so it's called a, a commission recalc, um, and it's basically a email that you would send through to customer. They'll send it to me, or you can just send it to me if it's commission based. Um, those, if it's a, actually, if you can just send it to customer and CC me in, that'd be great. Only because, like I said, I want to try and get Bungie across a lot of lot of the areas that he should be um, operating in. Uh, so could the commission recalcs was something I used to do back in customer service. Um, I'm here to to definitely help out with those where I can. Um, but a, if you don't believe you've been paid correctly, and first port of call, send an email to us. We will investigate. We'll see how the business is, is set up. Um, and if you should have received it, if you just missed it because of certain reasons then we will respond with to the email with those with that outcome that we found um yeah. if you still don't believe that it's correct um you can go i would suggest if you don't think that my response is correct you'll need to go to head office or go through to the us um or send back an email saying can you please seek the us advice and i'll send it to the us commission fee and see and get them to investigate um if it's a, uh, when I talk about a, a commission recap, um, if I am in agreement with you, as in I've looked at your business and I can see that yes, you should have been paid this bonus, um, but you hadn't, then I will do the uh, recap for you. So I put all the document, the paperwork together, um, and I show the the what I've found and compared to what's showing on your um, commission statement. And then I send that through to the US to get them to um, give you that that bonus that you've missed. Um, so if it's something that I agree on, then yes, I, I just complete it for you. I'll let you know what the process is happening. So I'll email back saying, yes, um, I agree. This should have been paid. I'll send through a, a, a commission recap. Uh, yeah, the, the flip side, well, the other side to that is like I, I mentioned, if I, can see where where you've missed i'll let you know those those outcomes okay um, yeah that, that's great and it and really as a company and as a team the the more you can have a little bit of an idea about another person's role the you know you can back each other's up right that's just yeah. the best customer service yes. <laughs> because yes. you know otherwise we're lost <laughs> we're lost without you right yeah definitely <laughs> and you so, travel and, and also, yeah yeah and 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 that's the thing i'm not always at my desk um I do all the Sinead and I are in meetings constantly, um, trying to, you know, make your lives easier and, and the next things that we're, we're, we're bringing to you guys. Um, so yeah, so I might not always be available. So hopefully Bungie, yeah, could pick up on, on those kind of things, um, sooner than, yeah, than I can get to sometimes. Awesome. And there's a question also to clarify, was there double points for October signups for manifest? In so, uh, yes, there was double points in October, I believe. Um, and they were for, what are we in now? November. So, yes, um, October was double points for signups and um, the duplication points. Uh, and we've also actually given you double points this month from the, um, I think it was the 15th, 18th. You'll have to double check that, but I think it was the, it was the 15th because I said for half the month. Yeah, so from the 15th to the end of the month, you've also got double points on signups, but only signups. No um, bonus points are included in double points. So if you get the bonus points on uh, Illuminovation purchase or a sign up over 250 PV, you, they don't get doubled. It's just the actual sign up. Okay. Awesome. And is it possible to do loyalty credit recalculations? Uh, yes. Yep. So I've done a countless ones of those. Um, if you don't think you've been uh, or got the right amount of, of loyalty points, then yep, just send them through. 
uh, that is something I'm still also showing uh, Bungie how to do successfully. <laughs> um, uh, it's a, a bit confusing, the lower two point system. Um, all I can say on that is uh, out of the uh, probably 15 um, ones that I've needed to go through to see if it's actually been paid correctly, there's only ever been one that hasn't. I'm just, I'll let you know that now. Um, and that was an, an odd, odd um, occurrence. Generally speaking, with the launcher points, we always give you more. I can I can tell you that part of my hand. In the system, it shows up that we always round it up. So if there's a something against something sense, we'll always put it up to the dollar. Um, and it's just something that the system does automatically. So we our, if you've been with us for 10 years, we've probably given you an extra $100 um, in loyalty points over those 10 years based on just the, the rounding up every every month. Um, but yeah. Mm, nice. Thought I'd throw that in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're blessed. We're blessed. But it's always good to question. And, and it, when we're professional about it and leave a question mark, right? Like, I'm not sure, but something looks not quite right here. Yeah. That's, a you yeah. know, not a cute story, but just we're professionals. Yeah. Um, and look, I'll also say uh, I... Our system is very clunky um, and, and it's very old um, and uh, it, it does what it needs to do, um, you know, for for how long we've had it and all that kind of stuff. It, it does make mistakes, though, every so often. Um, it's not maybe the system's fault itself. It might be an IT error. Um, but I can say that, yes, there are sometimes an occurrence where something doesn't go exactly as um, it should, really. Um, so definitely, if you don't think something has gone correctly, um, please just let us know. We'll investigate. I always investigate stuff um, because I, I, I'm here for you guys. So I want to make sure that you get what what, what is owed to you. Um, yeah. So there are sometimes issues. <laughs> yeah. So please yeah. send them through. I mean, it's just great things about having a long-standing company, and then there's the challenges that come along with that, isn't there? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, the question about adding the double points to the tracker is that something that that we do or you do? No, that's me. All okay. right. So unfortunately, um, like I mentioned before, I want to try next year to have um, uh, automated cloud-based extras. Yeah if I can so these kind of double point sections um, I can update as we go along I could have put the double point section in before I release the tracker but then you guys know when the double points are coming and we don't want that um, they're supposed to be a, a kind of a kick up the butt in a way um, yeah. to get to help you to or to boost you guys um, to do a bit extra work uh, we know when the double points are coming um, but if I add them before I release the, the Excel spreadsheet, then then you can. Yeah. The, the thing we find is that if you know when double points are coming, you're not going to do anything before it. You're going to wait until the double points come and then you go out and do the work um, because you do you know the same amount of work, but you get twice the, twice the points for it. So we don't want that happening. Um, and I like, <laughs> and it does happen. I can tell you that's now. human and nature. That's bloody good. human nature. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's also intelligent, right? So yeah, yeah, definitely, um, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we we know when the double points are happening, but we yeah we can't make it known to you guys just uh, at the beginning. Um, so yeah, so double points on your tracker currently. Um, you'll just have to remember that 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 is a double points. I've um, come. Uh, forget who I was emailing the other day, um, maybe Pauline or Bev, um, but they also questioned the double points. Um, my comment to her was the best way for everyone to remember you as well as me when I, when I get the tracker is when you ed enter the person's name that you're signing up, just put in brackets DP, double points, so that you remember that when you're calculating that line, that it's actually doubled for that, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. so that's the best way for you guys to remember I guess and to keep track of that like I said in the future I'm hoping I can make it so it's yeah it's a live Excel spreadsheet that I can update and you, it, which will give you better um, visuals on how you're progressing which is what we always want so yeah. yeah the alternative to that is you send me your tracker as it is now and I add 
the um, function in there or the um, uh, the formula in the, the the your spreadsheet as it is um, to calculate those double points, and then I'll send it back to you. Awesome, that's Sorry. service, isn't it? Yeah, service. Well, that's is what I'm small. here for. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and um, there was one more question in here. That's gone out of my mind. Um, the other thing we want to touch on is like just the days that you don't have anybody to deep with or, or that you've had a challenge or um, that you need a, to phone a friend. <laughs> yes. I mean, doing a home business by yourself and even if you've got a great system support, which some people do and some people don't, yep. you're going to have your, you're going to hit brick walls sometimes. And what can you do? Yeah. Well, give me a call. I'll tell you the to toughen Are up. Are you going to no, call? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a call. Actually, um, let me do this now then. If, while we're on this uh, subject, I've put in a, a a backdrop for you guys. So you've got all my details. Uh, let me do oh, that. Look at that. All right. This look is my you. business card. Good job. All right. All my details. Um, so drop them down. My contact number, my email address, the where the the head our business is, <laughs> and our uh, website. If you didn't know that already, um, <laughs> and so anybody listening to the audio, it's oh four five seven four double five seven four seven is the mobile, and the email is a hutchinson at manatech dot com dot au. I think you can look up the address online. Yes, and <laughs> Andrew, God bless you. That's really important. And yes. there's also a question. <laughs> I think this is a joke question. They want your home address. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'll be moving very shortly. You know so who I, that might be. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> the naughty Sinead. Um, and also another question is, is there any assistance to, you know, it's complex when we're doing international business and especially probably right now in Thailand, everything's not settled and it's probably changing by the day. Um, what kind of support can you offer for that? Um, it's hard when it comes to, uh changing by the day <laughs> as in um i i can give you all the advice um and information for the australasian region being uh, singapore new zealand and australia when we go past that unfortunately um it's the general rule is that you talk to the the customer service team with for that area um now i don't believe i oh know thailand so thailand has their own head office now or their own office um so I would put you in the, you know, I, if you don't know the details, then send through some uh, uh, your question and I can on forward that to whomever, or I can give you the details of who, who that would need to go to. Um, I can only give you kind of the vague advice on a few things. Um, compensation plan wise, it's generally the same for all, all regions. So if that's, if that's the basis of your question, then I can definitely give advice on. Um, but yeah, Joe. Local the logistics reason, would be pretty individual. Yeah, the reason we 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 refer it to the the office for that region is because sometimes they have different products. Um, sometimes they do things slightly different. Um, the, if it, if they're running an incentive, I wouldn't have any idea on how that mm. operates because that's their incentive. Um, so yeah, the because of the the slight um, irregular. Uh, in, what is it? Irregularities between the the different areas. Um, yeah, I can only give you know my idea of how things would work or how my idea on how things run. Um, but for you to actually have the correct um, information, I I would refer you on to them or ask the yeah. question on your behalf, and then yeah, let you know the answer. Yeah, um, you could assist with the direct contact. Yeah. So so um, you know, our friends in New Zealand, it was up, asked me about a an area of, of operation. Um, uh, two weeks ago, I had no idea. So I had to, because uh, it was in South Africa. <laughs> so I then just shot through an email to Darren, um, who's the um, head office guy in, in South Africa and asked if, you know, do you operate in this area? Um, as soon as I got the response back, I forwarded that on to Hills. So um, yeah. I, I can do those kind of things running around for you. Um, but yeah, if it's something to do with, with, and I, I was, uh, sorry. Sorry that I mentioned you if that was bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I can yeah do do the running around kind of stuff for you. But when it comes to 
yeah, the little quirkinesses between offices, um, I'd have to, yeah, maybe get you to, to find that out or give you the, the, the information on, on who you can go to. And is there someone in Mexico that you know of? Is there someone? Yeah. Uh, like there's somebody wa wanting support in Mexico. So I think that makes uh, so oh, Bella. <laughs> Mexico is is a little well yeah our ball is there um <laughs> Mexico is a bit of a different one I wasn't oh it is Al she's saying this is oh your chief oh okay there you go so he's uh, looking after Mexico um that kind of makes sense I know that uh, Mexico were running things slightly different to how the rest of us was were um yeah, they however did. they yeah. are coming in line with how we operate I believe um so because uh, someone was asking about the um, uh, your PMWs, your personal matter website the other day, and Mexico isn't on the list. Um, we like you when you send that through, you can't can't specify Mexico as one of the countries. Um, so yeah, so I only found out that. Uh, see, and that's the thing. I I constantly learn as well. Um, I only found out the other day that Mexico Mexico actually do things slightly different, but they are coming in line. Uh, IT are working on updating all of the system at the moment. Um, to try and include them in the PMWs and, and so forth. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, they started out uh, giving or recognizing the fact that the income, they're in and low income and wanted to include everybody. So yeah. maybe they're finding another way around that. And and just yeah. for everybody, Sinead's indicating that Al Bala is the interim GM in Mexico for a short while right now. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. A lot of gratitude for, Ambertil's Complex being back. I was opened my last bottle this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you. Um, um, let me just say that Sinead, Sinead knows a few people uh, and can pull a few strings. Um, <laughs> God bless yes. you, Sinead. She's, she's done amazing. It's been great. So I think we've wrapped up all the questions except for one. Everybody yes. wants your shirt. Can they have my one? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have worn it. No. Um, I think we've got some spares. Uh, <laughs> so so these used to be the corporate shirts um, many uh, months ago, and we found a box of them the other day. Um, they were in the warehouse for some reason. Uh, so yeah, as soon as the box came in the office, yeah, I, it's I very chic. It's very yes. professional. Yeah. yeah, nice, cool, clean. So, Andrew, what would you like to leave people with this morning? Um, well, uh, just a, a, a different idea. Who are out of everyone who's here at the moment? has gone to their local uh, warehouse, which is generally full of guys, asking them if they'd want some loom innovation for their wives. For Does anyone do that? <laughs> we, I know it's it's coming close to Christmas, people start winding down, but we are a, a, a you know a 12 month uh, business. Of course, you're, it's your own business, so you can work the hours that you want, um, but we've still got yeah. a whole, whole month to go, so. And people ask, you know, men especially, leave presents until the very last minute. Um, I bet if some of you went to your local fire station um, or, you know, local where, warehouses where there's predominantly male men and you had your little innovation box, and I'm sure you would have a couple of sales there and then. A um, uh, really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's it. laughs> Sinead wants Lumi for Christmas. <laughs> hint, hint, Andrew. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank, thank you, Andrew. And anything you'd like to finish with? No. no um, just that I'm here to help. So please, please use me. All right, Andrew. God bless you. <laughs> thank and you. thank you, everybody, for all your participation. It makes it the whole thing work. And we'll see you next week with Colleen. And we'll be focusing on ourselves, you know, shaping a life to lo you love. So thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye.